What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys another competitive S&D gameplay, this time it's on the map Freight, it's against the same team in the last gameplay, um, like I said before, I have, you know, trouble with my capture card still, I'll be spending some time working on that today, hopefully I can get it fixed, but uh, yeah, most I have several gameplays facing this team, so I'm going to be using them up, and then maybe a couple others from older times, and then uh, we'll we'll see what happens from there. But uh, yeah, so today's video is actually going to be about how to win more gunfights, and if this is the first one you've seen from me, or first video from me that you've seen, I would recommend going and watching my uh, tips on improving your aim video at some point, either before or after this one, because that goes along with winning gunfights, but I don't want to repeat myself. Um, it was about a 10 minute video, so I had a lot of tips for it, so I recommend checking that out. I'll have an annotation either at the beginning of this video, like right around now, or at the end, I'm not sure which, or maybe even both. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but anyway, so getting into it, how to win more gunfights. So the first thing is map positioning, and this includes things like what elevation you're at, um, getting on head glitches, cutting off choke points, hiding in concealment, um, just regular cover, things like that, and basically you just want to be smart about this kind of thing. Remember, usually higher elevation gives you an advantage. Um, of course, you know, if the floor is see-through like in top red, like all the way top, it's a little bit scary to be up there because they can see you, but, you know, typically higher elevation is good, like I said. Head glitches, of course, because then they can only hit your head and you can hopefully see their entire body, so that always helps you in gunfights. Choke points, you know, if you're at a common choke point and you're just cutting it off on some area behind cover, you know, you should be getting a lot of kills. They should be running into you a lot without realizing you're there, at least in a public match. Um, in competitive, they'll probably know you're there, so it might be a little bit more difficult. But that th those sort of things will help. Also, of course, like I said, the concealment, because then people won't see you and you can take them by surprise. So that will give you the advantage. The next thing is having map awareness. So this includes things like knowing where people are going to spawn. Um, you know, this is something that's very important. Spawns can get you killed because if you're not paying attention and they are spawning right behind you and you don't realize that they're going to be spawning right next to you, you're going to die and, you know, not be able to turn around and win that gunfight. So try not to be in their spawns, you know, try and control where you are make sure that you are going to see them before they see you another thing under map awareness is using friendly call out so you know sometimes it, th this includes people actually communicating with you and also the end game um, if you guys haven't noticed I, I you've probably noticed but you know sometimes the characters will make call outs they'll say like in the open or top warehouse or warehouse or something you know they'll make call outs and so just Make sure you're aware of what your friendlies are saying. Also, you can pay attention to where your friendly, you know, your teammates are dying and where they're getting into gunfights. You know, if you see that they're all dying over in this one spot, you know there's some people over there killing them. So, you know, be prepared to engage with them. So that that's uh, some things. Also, be aware of common routes that people take and make sure that you're ready to get in an engagement in those. And also be aware of common rotations. This is more in the competitive side of it. Uh, you know, people will rotate. You know, if you are, let's say, playing Blitz and on, on this map, for example, and you make a kill over by crates and, you know, you're trying to get behind their base, people are going to be rotating back through places such as Bottom Porter or th through White, and they're going to be trying to cut you off in that back alley. Or some they may even try and go up top. So just be aware of rotations. Um, and things like that. So that's the kind of things for the map awareness. Next thing is learning to pre-fire. And this is something that can be kind of difficult if you're an AR player because, I mean, look at us. We have 24 bullets in our clip. It's a little bit hard to do that, but if you know somebody is somewhere, like let's say you got into an engagement and they ducked behind cover and you think they'll poke back out, just kind of, you know, if you've, if you've got enough ammo, just keep shooting and if you don't have enough ammo burst fire at that opening like if there's a little doorway and you think they'll poke back out you know just be pre-firing um, it's something that you want to be careful doing because obviously if you have to all of a sudden reload out in the open that's not going to be good so just use pre-fire accordingly 
Next thing is don't shoot at people when they are barely poking out and they haven't seen you yet. Obviously, if you are forced into a gunfight like that, then by all means try and win the gunfight. But if you see somebody and you just see their leg poking out, make the call out. You don't have to go for the gunfight necessarily because you're probably not going to win it. They're probably going to move away and through something that you can't shoot through. So, you know, just be aware of that. Try not to, you know, challenge things where you're not going to be able to get the kill. Make the call out instead. Uh, next thing, this is actually one of the things I'm repeating from how to improve the aim video, but make sure you're using the perk focus. Um, this will help you win more gunfights because you're going to be able to aim better at them. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just needed to emphasize that, so I brought that in this video as well. Uh, next thing is, there's a, a few attachments that are good that will help you win more gunfights generally. Uh, such as the muzzle brake, grip, some kind of sight, whether it's a thermal, a VMR a red dot whatever you want to use whatever is allowed to use whether you're playing competitive or public matches you know things like that um, and then the what, whatever the thing is that gives you bullet penetration I don't remember what it's called I just slap it on um, you don't always want to use that one though because there's usually better ones like grip or muzzle brake but th those are the kind of perks or those are the kind of attachments I'm sorry that you want to be putting onto your gun um, next thing is Make sure that you burst fire at a distance. Um, you know, like, let, let's say, for the, the main thing with this is if you're using a thermal Remington. Uh, that thing bounces quite a bit. You cannot just hold down the fire button and just hope you get the kill. It's going to be bouncing all over the place at a really long distance. You've got to burst fire, or even single shot. No, not, no not, not single shot, not really. Just be bursting, like, two to three shots. And just keep doing that, and that way you can control the recoil better, and you can hopefully get the kill. Um, next thing is, if you are not jump shotting or drop shotting ever, you need to start doing it. And um, it, it's going to help you win more gunfights. Of course, you got to control when you're doing it, because when you're next to railing or something, you don't want to jump and accidentally climb instead and you know lose the gunfight. But those are things that you need to do so that you can get out of the way of bullets. Um... All competitive players pretty much know how to do it and they consistently do it with a lot of gunfights so try and do that the ways you can try and improve your chances of being able to do it effectively would be to play um, claw style play on a tactical layout or buy some kind of controller like a shark controller or a scuff just something like that um, next thing is don't stay in one place all the time um, in competitive this is you can kind of avoid this sometimes if you've got a spawn trap going like let's say on strike zone domination and competitive you have the a and c flags and you have somebody set up at each of the entrances from b so that they can't get out you know you can stay there but in general like especially in, for public match players don't be in one place at all the time because you will get flooded people are going to get annoyed and they're all going to flock to you and try and kill you and they're going to know exactly where you are. you got to move around some. And if even a lot of times in competitive, you've got to move around a lot. So just don't stay in one place, especially if you have an unsilenced gun. Please don't stay in one spot in a public match. It's, it's going to get you killed for sure. Next thing is try to position yourself where you don't have to constantly check your back. Watch the flank. You want to have your teammates be able to do this for you. Um... You know, this is something that is a little bit harder for public match players because there's a lot less communication going on and you're probably not going to be trusting your teammates as much. But, you know, do what you can with it. Um, you can be paying attention to the spawns. This can help you as well. If your teammates are still spawning behind you, it's very unlikely that you need to check your back because nobody's there. Nobody's disrupting the spawn. So things like that. Um, just try and have people watching your back. It's not always possible. Sometimes there's too many entrances. But that's the ideal situation to where you don't have to watch your back because then when you try and turn around to the front, sometimes people will get in a gunfight with you and, you know, they had first shot. So that's just something you can do. Also, the next two things here, actually the last two things, are things that I do sometimes and I need to work on. First one is don't sprint all the time. Sprinting will lose you gunfights. Even if you have ready up, it's better to be just walking around the corner so that you can instantly have it up rather than just all of a sudden just sprinting out. 
And then the other thing is reload behind cover. I get told apparently that I do this a lot. I don't even notice it, but I don't reload behind cover sometimes. I'll just reload out in the open while I'm running and it'll get you killed. You know, you, you won't be able to shoot. So just pay attention to that. And um, yeah, those are all the tips for you guys. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.